Today I am going to show you how I digitize my sketches and vectorize them using Photoshop and Illustrator. Some of the materials you will need are a good quality scanner, your finished sketches inked in black ink. I use uh, micron pens to ink my artwork, but any other black ink artist pen will work. And you're going to want to make sure that you erase your pencil lines prior to scanning them in if you sketched everything in pencil and then went over with, uh, with your ink. You'll need your computer and Adobe Photoshop and Illustrator. Here I have scanned in what I want to digitize and brought it into Adobe Photoshop. I scanned it in as a high quality image at 300 dpi. Now let me show you how I scan everything in. And your setup might be a little bit different than mine. But this is how I access my scanner. And this is where I adjust the, the resolution to 300 dpi to give me a good quality image. And then I normally hit this preview button to see how my scan is going to look. And then I just hit scan and my computer scans everything in. I'm not going to do this step since I already have everything here. I'm going to make the black areas a little darker. And this is just, since I do these adjustments, I want them to be permanent anyway. Um, and this is considered like a permanent way to adjust your images because you can't uh, change change the adjustments later. But I just go into adjustments and adjust the brightness and contrast here. And I bring it, the brightness down a little bit. And then that's it. And then I'm going to go up to here, go to levels, bring in a little bit more dark, a little bit more light. That looks really good. Okay. So all my adjustments are done to my image. I'm ready to go. So what I normally do is you can either save the file and open it up in Illustrator, or you can just select everything and hit Control C or Command C on a Mac and copy everything. And I'm going to go into Illustrator right now and paste, paste my image into Illustrator. And I do that by hitting Control V or Command V on a Mac. I'm using a PC. And so here's, here's our image. Oops, zoomed in a little too much there. Here's our image and it hasn't been vectorized yet. So how we're going to vector vectorize this image is by using image trace. Now, if you don't have image trace pulled up like I do here, you can access image trace by going to window and selecting the image trace. So I like to use the preset black and white logo. I think it works best with, with this type of illustration. So once you select this, it's going to go ahead and vectorize everything. So I'm going to select it. And, and there we go. Now I want to show you too that you can make some adjustments here. Like I don't really like how this looks. So I can adjust the controls a little bit and it'll redo it. Let's go a little more. More. And here's some more adjustments that you can do here and it'll redo everything. And if you go down, you'll see that it'll that it'll take away some things too. But I'm gonna go back right up here and see how that looks. Okay. 
Okay, that looks pretty good. So now you need to group everything and you have to hit, you have to group everything twice. So you're just gonna hit Control G or Command G twice. And then we're going to expand everything. Hit OK. And now you can see everything is selected. Let me zoom out. All right. Now, when you use image trace, it's also going to trace the white areas of your paper. And let me show you here by showing you a background so you can actually see the white areas. But we don't want the white areas. We just want the actual artwork itself. So you can access the white area by just, you can keep clicking till you get to it or you can just go into the layers panel and select that. Now, I just usually go like this and then you can see it's disappearing. So I'm just gonna take that and delete it. And now that is gone. But I also have these white areas inside here that I wanna get rid of and I'm going to show you if you just go like this. Well, let me see. Ungroup it. I'll show you. You can see that it leaves those white areas. So you want to make sure that you get rid of these white areas because if you don't and you start using your artwork, those pieces will be there. And we don't want to leave those there. So. I'm just gonna go in and just delete them. And they're gone. Now, they're not actually really gone, but if you click on this, it's its own shape. And that's okay, um, but it's still part of this artwork and I want to have that space in between the letter. So I want to leave that shape there. And you could still actually, if you didn't want that space, you could delete that shape and it's gone. But I don't want to delete that shape. I want to keep that shape there. So, um, so that's how you get rid of the white areas of your artwork. I'm gonna go over here. Let me hide this background a little bit. Well, I'm gonna go in here and I want to, I like a little bit of the roughness, but I think there's just too much roughness to these leaves. So I'm gonna select it. And one of the few of the tools that I use quite often is the dark selection tool and um, my smooth tool. So I actually have them as keyboard shortcuts on my keyboard so that I can access them quickly because I use them so often. But you can get to the smooth tool by clicking right here and you can see if you have like this pencil tool selected, it would show up here, but you can see that it's right here in the menu. So you need to select your artwork and I'm gonna, and I already have the smooth tool selected. So you just draw along the path and we'll smooth out your artwork some. Okay, let's zoom in a little bit. I don't really like how this corner looks. I'm going to add an anchor point oh. anchor point right there and I want it to be a corner and okay I like how that looks okay um, let me round it up just a tad. Okay, that looks pretty good. 
Okay, so our leaf shape is looking pretty good, um, and there's still quite a bit of roughness to it, so it looks a little bit organic. But what I'm going to do, I need to ungroup these so that they're not, let's see, ungroup, there we go. Uh, let's pick a color that we want the leaves to be, okay. I like that color a lot. Let's see. Now, what if I change my mind and I don't want all these leaves the same color? And normally when I vectorize artwork elements that are like this, I usually keep them one solid color if I'm gonna bring them in this way. Otherwise, I do the coloring and shape creation all by hand. But let's say I did this and I want to change one of these leaf colors. How I would do that, and I'm sure there's probably an easier way to do this, but how I would do it is I would go and take my eraser tool and erase the connection here with the leaf. And... I'm going to go ahead and select this and smooth out this edge a little bit. And then I'm going to move this over just a tad. And then I'm going to change this color of the leaf. Let's actually make it just a little bit lighter color give a little bit of contrast and I'm going to just send it to the back and there is the leaf in a different color and I can position it say I want to move it up just a little bit yeah that looks pretty good and then I can just select both sections and group it and there is my leaf shape. So now we have this lettering that has, we're going to go in and clean this up a little bit. Let's see. Okay. And I would just clean this up by selecting it and using the smooth tool to smooth everything out. Now I'm not going to smooth this out as much as I normally would because it actually takes quite a long time to get everything exactly the way you want it, especially with hand lettering. But you can see, you can just smooth everything out. And then you have to select the inner shape. looking pretty good. Oops, I'm going to select this one. There we go. Now we're going to smooth this area out. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now I don't really like how this area looks right here. So let's just zoom in just a tad. I'm going to show you how I would clean this up even further is I would go in with my direct selection tool and actually adjust each anchor point. Until I get the look that I want. Okay, 
that looks good for now. And we can change the color of this. Let's actually make it the color of this leaf. My eyedropper tool. Uh, no, let's do the darker. Okay. So here's our text. And here's our leaves. And there is our artwork. All right. Thank you for following along with this tutorial. And for more tu tutorials like this, just subscribe and so that you can follow along. Or you can go to www.deniseann.com and um, follow along with me there. Thank you.